Excellence isn't instant and success doesn't come overnight. So a creative must be ready to make the most of an opportunity whenever it presents itself. Mishka Patel is one of the recent faces on SABC2, but she wasn't expecting it, as she explained to Korea recently. No matter where Mishka Patel may be, she has a way of standing out in a crowd. And it isn't only thanks to her height. Her stunning looks and endless legs definitely have something to do with it. And there's also the vibrant personality and her ability to establish a rapport with people of all ages and backgrounds. Mishka was one of the finalists in SABC3's Presenter Search in 2015. And she's adopted a professional approach to her role as magazine show host. In action. Tot ons volgende week weer saamkeier. Selfde tyd, selfde plek. En kak. I'm going to try and sneak in here quickly. How are you, Mishka? You are. Well. How are you? Good, thanks. Whilst you have a quick break, yes, okay. I thought we'll catch up and then we'll leave you to carry on with your shoot. Perfect. So, Mishka, what was it like for you growing up? Extremely nerdy, very academic. My parents didn't want me doing anything but study and focusing on schoolwork. And after school, I went straight into studying my beak on business management. So I think at 21, I decided to be the rebel and that's when I entered for Miss South Africa. Miss SA stands for, for something so amazing and it's really to bring change to the world. And that's what I stand for. Mm -hmm. So when I got my degree, I actually got my degree while doing Miss SA. And I competed with Rolene Strauss, Miss World. Yes, that must have been a tough one. <laughs> Quite a difficult yes. one. <laughs> so everything started when I entered for Miss Essay because when I grew up I was bullied really badly. I was always the tallest in my class. I have a big forehead as you can see now. I wear it proudly. <laughs> <laughs> you have such a busy schedule and I know I'm interrupting you and I can see your director giving me the sneaky eye in the background. <laughs> So what does a typical day for you entail? You actually found me on a perfect day because I'm shooting after this. I have a little photo shoot set up. So you can follow me today and then you can have a little taste into the life of Mishka Patel. Her meticulous preparation enables Mishka to introduce an element of confidence into an interview and to make her guests feel at home. Sneaking in again before you run away. <laughs> How do you prepare for a typical TV shoot? I always start at least two days before the time. You know, I need to do research about who I'm interviewing. I like to be updated and informed as to who I'm doing the interview with. I like to learn my link so that I'm not put on the spot when I'm doing the interview with someone. Oh, it's quite a long day. So you started as a model and now you've progressed into TV. What made you make that change? I always loved being in front of a camera. I think it got hard for me when as soon as someone saw me they would assume because of my length that I'm a model and immediately they would assume I have no education. I don't know why and that frustrated me and I wanted to focus more on TV presenting because that's where you can really show your personality yes. and that's what I love about Pasella. You can be you and I mean I'm a small town Afrikaans girl and that's what you can see when I'm a TV presenter and not necessarily when I'm a model. I can't believe that this pass already in 1881 begins to build. And it is now nog here for us to enjoy. Oh, come on, go! I still want to see you in the modeling world and I know you have a shoot planned after this. So shall we get to it? Yes, please. Let's go. <laughs> after making the top 12 in Miss South Africa, Mishka was among the finalists of a number of other national competitions, including reaching the top three of Joanne Strauss's Social Stars in 2015. Some would have found it disheartening to get so close to taking the crown on more than one occasion without actually winning. But Mishka turned the experience and exposure to her advantage. She has been appointed an ambassador for a number of major brands. And she approaches every modeling assignment with the same level of focus. Shiraz Reddy clearly enjoyed teaming up with Mishka. I think, yeah, I mean, just look straight at it. What do you love about working with Mishka? You know, it's not just about the fact that she's the ideal model size, <laughs> and I mean, but from head to toe, she's so comfortable, mm. so elegant, absolutely beautiful. So she really takes the clothing and the shoe to the next level. And it makes it comfortable as a stylist because mm. you know that that model is going to interpret what it is that mm. you're trying to project. Having taken care of a few details, the last frames of the shoot were ready to be taken. Bodies. Oh, I love that. I like that. Oh, I love it with oh, the. Oh, that's that's really nice. Nice. Oh. Thanks, well, so thanks so much, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> if you have time for a quick break, why don't we grab a drink?
Ooh. Mm. Oh, thank, thank, thank you very so much. much. This looks great. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. So good, so refreshing. Staying in shape can be quite a challenge for most people, but you seem to do it quite naturally. 2014, I was 10 k's heavier than I am today. Um, it, was a, it, it was a terrible time in my life. Um, things got hard. I, I found out my mom has cancer. I started training four times, five times a day. I lost 10 k's in one month and I kept it off until today. Wow. I train every day. I run 10 to 20 k a week. It's what I love. I love being healthy because I also think it's important to promote that you need to take care of yourself. Our health is our greatest wealth and I'm going to make mine count. You're involved in a lot of upliftment programs and you even have Mishka Patel's success class. I come from Ida's Valley Stellenbosch and growing up I was told I would not be anyone or anything actually by a teacher. So my plan was to go out there and go to three schools, one in Ida's Valley, one in Clittersville and one just outside Stellenbosch. And I'm gonna to go to these girls, girls who are just like me, and I'm gonna tell them, listen here, you can be whatever you wanna be. It doesn't matter who says what, what your circumstances are. If you wanna be something, work towards it, and you can. Because if I can, so can you. You lost your mom. How did this affect you, and how did you cope with it? It just made me wanna work harder. She wrote me a letter that I got a week after her death. And she said, Mishka, I need you to move on and I need you to go on because you know what I want for you. And that's what I live by every day. I need to push forward for her. You really are a very strong woman, Mishka. Thank you. What advice would you give to anyone, young or old, wanting to get into the media industry? If you want to do something, just do it. That's what I did. I just went for it. And honestly, your life is so short. Everything can change in a blink of an eye. Take your opportunities now. Well, Mishka, thank you so much for spending the day with me today. I know you do aspire to inspire, and I definitely felt inspired today. And we wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.